right, welcome back. The next fly that we're going to tie up is going to be the woolly worm. And the woolly worm is a simple little nymph pattern. Um, it's, it's fairly easy to tie, and it's usually one that, that people will first learn on because it's got a, it's got a few different techniques that you have to use. Um, I actually don't fish it that often. I know of a lot of people that do fish it quite a bit and, and seem, seem to do pretty well, but I've never, never really fished it that much. Um, but I think it is a good fly to tie if you want to learn. Um, and, and it's a good one to practice on because it does have a few different techniques. So let's, uh, let's take a look real quick at, the, at what you'll need to tie this. Okay, so to tie the woolly worm, uh, we've decided to use, or I've chose to use a size 10 wet nymph hook. Um, this one's not going to be very big, and, and you can kind of vary the size up on this depending on how big you want the fly to be. So we're going to start off by just tying down our thread. And go ahead and bring the we'll bring the thread to the back. The first thing we'll do is I've cut a small piece of red poly yarn. And sometimes it helps if you kind of wet your fingers. Make sure we get it down. And when you tie it down, if you're just learning, it's alright to tie it a little bit longer than what you're actually going to need. Because when we get finished with this fly, we'll just go ahead and uh, trim that off. Alright, so we got that down. Now, this is a good fly to uh, good fly to tie, and it's a good fly to practice on because it uh, it involves a few different techniques. Um, so I usually just keep. When I first learned, anyways, I just kept tying until I had this fly figured out, and then it was quite a bit easier to tie tie a lot of the other flies. So what I'm doing here is I'm tying down a piece of uh, silver wire, small silver wire, and we're going to use that to, it's not only going to be our rib, but it's also going to be what we use to fasten our, uh, to fasten our hackle down at the end. And now I've taken a piece of uh, small chenille, small black chenille. I'm going to stretch that out so that it's the length of the hook. I'm just going to tie it down. All the way up to the end. wrap the chenille and tie that down Make sure it's fastened down tight. And now we're going to tie in our hackle. And I've selected a grizzly hackle. And if you look at the hackle, um, you'll see that it's kind of tapered from bigger and then obviously it gets smaller as it goes down to the tip. What I'm going to do is I'm going to strip this hackle right where the bushy part stops. Okay, now take your scissors we're going to trim we're going to trim the last few hackle fibers off of the tip okay now that the reason why we did that is so that when we tie it down the thread's got something to catch on 
So that's what it should look like now. Now this is the, the toughest part of this fly. We're going to take the hackle, we're going to palmer it back to the end, and then we're going to use the wire to tie it off. So our first wrap is going to be right up by the eye, and then we slowly work our way back. And when I get to the end, I'm going to take the hackle in my left hand, the wire in my right hand, and trap it down. And then, it's just a matter of ribbing, using the wire to create a rib. And as you go forward, you want to Move the wire back and forth so you don't trap too many of those uh, hackle fibers. And now that we're at the top, usually it only takes a couple wraps to hold the wire down, a few tight ones to get it down tight, and then that should break. Now we'll just build up a little bit of a head up here at the top. Add a whip finish. And normally at this point you would add your head cement. And we want to make sure we trim off this hackle at the back and also our tail. Tail you don't want it to be too long. It's kind of a little red butt back there. And that's all there is to it. That's a that's a woolly worm fly. It's a it's a great fly to a uh, great fly to learn on and a great fly to practice on. And once you get this figured out then it makes a lot of the other flies easier to tie. Mm -hmm.